Hello and welcome to another InfoSync World review. This is the HTC HD7S and this is AT&T's version of T-Mobile's HTC HD7. This phone is different in two regards. It has an SLCD screen and it runs on AT&T's network compared to T-Mobile's network which soon might be one. The HD7S is known as Microsoft's all-around entertainment phone with its 4.3 inch SLCD screen with a high resolution. It is a great screen. It has an 800 by 480 resolution and this phone also has a kickstand in back. We also have a 5 megapixel camera with dual LED flash in the back. There's no front facing camera, so take that into consideration. And when it comes to memory, there's 16 gigabytes of internal storage, but no micro SD card slot or memory slot to speak of. Battery life and call quality. We'll start with battery life. Very good on this phone. Standby was about three days. And uh, when we were kind of using this phone to its max potential, it lasted about a full day on a, on a full charge. Now when it came to call quality, we used AT&T's 3G network. Good call quality, never a dropped call, decent sound quality, um, but you know, occasionally the slight background white noise hissing. So overall, AT&T, you'll be fine. There's also no HDMI terminal on this phone. It has a USB 3.5 millimeter audio jack and the standard fare when it comes to buttons, but it does have a camera shutter button. That's nice, but the camera shutter button is flush almost with the nice chrome edges. And um, it's almost too flush because we had a hell of a time trying to take pictures with this phone. While we're talking about the camera, let's talk about something else. I really despise the fact that when you make settings when you change the video resolution or if you change the metering mode in the camera and you go back into the camera those modes have defaulted back to their original places talking about image quality with the camera subpar really not great um, actually one of the worst performances in the smartphone realm when it comes to images and videos. Video is even worse. The HD7S is running a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor with Adreno 200 CPU. It is a speedy ass phone. Everything on this phone is instant. The refinement, the sensitivity of the screen, um, we never had any lagging. So now let's get a taste of Windows Phone 7 OS and uh, I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Alrighty, here's the HTC HD7S, and if you've seen one Windows Phone 7 device, you've seen them all. What I liked about this phone was its seamless operation. It was just exceedingly smooth. Here's what we see when we slide up the lock screen. We have one home screen. It's our primary home screen with all of our icons. Animated icons, as you can see. And our Facebook contacts just keep um, shifting back and forth. Every once in a while we'll get this Xbox Live character, which is my avatar. I'm going to show you the People Hub here to start with. This is the latest status update feed here for all of the Facebook friends and social contacts you have, the recent pictures that they've uploaded, and uh, here's just a big contact list right here. And all of the hubs are this same design. Now let's go over to pictures. I like pictures because you can pull pictures from everywhere. Here are the latest pictures uploaded by your Facebook friends. And these are the latest pictures that we've taken with the phone. However, you can also view all of your pictures. And these combine my Facebook pictures, any other um, social networking site I happen to be logged into. Let's go to the Xbox Live Store and this is where we can get games and uh, Sonic on here, Doodle Jump and this is my gaming avatar that I've made tracks my progress. Music and videos here we can test drive music in the Zoom store so I was listening to Michael Jackson and uh, let's talk about sound here sound on this phone is uh, Dolby SRS Wow so great sound on the HTC HD7S. So my InfoSync diagnosis with the HTC HD7S, it's a good one. This is a good phone. It's one of the fastest and most responsive phones on the market. However, when you look at AT&T's lineup, you see the Infuse 4G, you see the iPhone 4, you see the Inspire 4G, you see the Atrix 4G, 
And then there's the 3G Windows Phone 7 HTC HD7S. Personally, I would go for one of the former phones that I mentioned. Uh, the die-hard Windows user or somebody looking for pretty aesthetics in a fast driving package is going to want the HTC HD 7S. For the entire HTC HD 7S review, go to infosyncworld.com. Until next time, I'm Mike Broman.